Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Tour series. <gasps> What's this I see in the distance? Oh, I bet it's that new theatre everybody's been talking about recently. Wow. I never imagined it had looked like this. <gasps> Ooh, now this is good. Let's see what the ticket price is. Adults, £2. Children, £1. OAPs, £1. OAPs, old age pensioners. And creepers go away. And here we have some little seats where you can wait until your show begins. Up here we have the mall. It's not really complete. If you're wondering what a mall is, it's, as most people call it, a shopping mall. But it's definitely pronounced mall, because in Monopoly it's pal mall, not pull mall. <laughs> so, up here we have Le Restaurante, where there's some seats where you can have luncheon whilst waiting for this villager to serve you. Serve you, he will serve you many things. Right, so let's get on to the actual stage. And it has backstage as well, a fully operational backstage. So I'll be able to show you that. Uh, so here we have the theatre. Sorry for that little break, I just had to turn the st on stage lights off. So here we have it. We have the main lights on, and then we have this. I have little dispensers here which I will wire up in due course so that they will go and stuff. We have, of course, the lighting box back there, which should normally be where you turn the lights on and off. But for the purpose of this video, or for, I, I prefer to have uh, controls backstage as well. So, of course, if you flick this switch, the stage lights come on. And uh, I also wired the main lights out there up to the lights up there. So if I switch that off, then the, excuse me for the lag, then the main audium, auditorium lights turn off. That's the technical word, the auditorium. Here we have the male changing rooms and exactly like that. In the opposite wings we have, oh the director's chair here. Then we have the female changing rooms in there. Now, entrance-wise, we've got to have a male entrance and a female entrance because the entrance is basically, we walk straight into the changing rooms. This is for the actors, not the main people, the people who want to watch it. So as you can see down here, this is underneath the stage. This is how you cross the stage. So if the males were dressing on this side and they needed to enter the stage from the other side, they'd nip under here. And of course, this is where I have those dispensers at the front of the stage that I will wire up in due course. So down here, this takes you underneath the seats. And of course there's that there. This is where some of the redstone happens. And I'm not going to show you all of the backstage things that I do right now. So I'll just cut this small bit. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are now up in the sound box. As you will see from down, that's where we were a minute ago. I just simply walked up this staircase where all the redstone is. And also to get a better feel of the lights, you can control them from up here so this switch is for the stage lights so that turns the on stage lights off on and this switch is for the auditorium lights and then that turns them on but normally I keep them off and then operate it from behind the stage the theatre looks a bit creepy in the dark the theatre at night Dun dun. You suddenly you suddenly expect the Phantom of the Opera to appear. <laughs> now wouldn't that be funny? If you made a theatre modding you made a Phantom of the Opera mob. Wouldn't that be awesome? The Phantom of the Opera is inside your mind. The Phantom of the Opera is there inside your mind. 
Now, for the purpose of this video, I will walk through the mail changing rooms and just come up here. It's dark. So, just let me chug a night viz grog. It's a nice word, chug. So, this is where I'm going to have the restaurant for the performers. Because, I mean, it'll be a five star restaurant and. Also, it means that the actors don't have to go mingling with the audience. Ugh. <laughs> Only joking. <sighs> Most people in the audience are really nice in plays. Of course, you get the old one or two who are a bit... <laughs> but, I mean, that's their problem. So... Mainly, since I have loads of time left, would you like me to show you me building up this? Oh, I'll have to get rid of that and that. The only reason that I have those note blocks there is that when the stage manager does an announcement, he says, if he has to say something like how long the play has lasted, then he'll say it through speakers. So he'll say, hello guys, well done for today. That was a two hour performance. Very well done for everybody. And I will see you tomorrow for the next performance. Now I made another theater that, that was more like a prototype because this one's far more complex and is indoors. Cause the other one, it can only do performances at night, but this one can do matinees as well. Matinee meaning the afternoon performance. So, let's build a theatre, shall we? Why not? It should be fun. It is fun to build theatres. Uh, some chicken pizza. Doop, doop, boo, dooby, dooby. Do 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 boop do 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 bloop 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 bloop. That's all I need, and now I should go along here doing this fairly quickly. Bloop 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 bloop. Okay, I'm gonna stop blooping now. I can swear I've heard the word blooping before. No, I don't want to make sound come out of there. So that's pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Now that we've made that, we've... I reckon that we'll keep on going. We'll do two more of these and then we'll build the counter where they order their food. So if we destroy the two blocks underneath there and then just put redstone. Oh! Dun dun! So that's pretty cool. How long have I got left of night vision? I've got four minutes. It's okay, I've got more than four minutes left of this recording, so I'm chillaxed. You see how I do the tables? It's quite creative. You see, there's the tables which are pistons. Yeah. It's one of my sparks of creativity. So, what we'll want, we'll want to put a note block in there for the speaker. Because, I mean, sometimes people need to know what's going on in the restaurant. However, you've got to be very careful when you're eating on the night of a performance not to stain your costume. Because otherwise, it's quite awkward. You have the costume ladies chasing after you. Ganger. I think I'll destroy this last one. 
I don't need it. I have enough seating, don't I? So, this will only be a mini bar. Oh, mini bar! They have them on holiday, don't they? Ghastly things, though. Mini bars are the most money making scheme that hotels, that humans, have ever come up with in their existence. It's the worst sham ever. Actually, I don't want you there. It's okay, villager. I'll give you a short, sharp end. Just short and sharp. Short and sharp like the tip of my sword. Oh, yay, we have a white villager in. How did he do that? There, that's better. Because I put that thing over there, then that will mean that they couldn't escape. Hey, you! You there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, villager. <laughs> we had a librarian villager for once. There! Now you shouldn't be able to escape. So you'll be serving us. And you have a little apron as well. I love it how some villagers have aprons. So anyway, people, I hope you've enjoyed this episode thoroughly, because I have, and I will see you next time. Peace!